just in this toilet here. Um, can't wash my hands because there's some Russian greens in it. We've just had a really nice five nights off the bike all together in Hoi An and now we're heading 30 kilometers up the road to Da Nang where we're actually planning to um, that was actually the place we were going to stop for a bit longer so I don't really know how long we're going to stop in Da Nang but we're feeling really refreshed after our time here in Hoi An so we may not stay as long as we first thought in Da Nang. We'll see. Just arrived in Da Nang. This is the beachfront. It's quite nice. Bike's rolling well. Although I've got a creaky bottom bracket, so I'm hoping to find a bike shop here. Just stopped to use the loo here. And uh, what is really weird about the whole of Vietnam, really, is there's loads and loads and loads of derelict buildings. Look, this hotel here, right on the beachfront, it was being constructed and they've just stopped. I don't know if it's funding or, and you can see them all over towns. It's really weird. And yet, all the way back down the coast, the way that we've come, there's loads of resorts being built. Like, there's the big names. Um, Radisson Blue, Sheraton. So if these ones are empty, how on earth do those ones further down the coast plan to make any sort of a income? Just arriving into the main town now of Da Nang and we're crossing this bridge and they've made it look like a made it look like a dragon. One of those uh, dragons that goes in and out of the water. A sea serpent, I don't know what you call it, but yeah, it's pretty, um, it's pretty built up. It's uh, quite a big city, I think over a million people. And definitely the main city area away from the coast looks more normal without the derelict buildings and stuff. There's the bridge we just came across. And a pretty massive river here. Here's one for you, Dad. This is Karyla soup. I, uh, I didn't mean to order it. <laughs> this is the hotel we're staying in at the moment. I think it specializes in weddings. Look at these rooms. Just all decked out for, uh, for weddings. This is the next one, it's happening on the 25th by these people. Quite a grand sort of place. It's pretty cheap, this hotel, for some reason. We managed to get our room in here for about 10 pounds per night. Not sure why, but um, that's Vietnam. You never really know. Prices don't always correlate to what you get. Some monkey crossing the road. Our hotel here in Da Nang has got a doorbell. How random is this? Just a hotel room, but look. <laughs> Where? Mighty Han River by night. All the lights, 
of Da Nang. This is the Dragon Bridge. Someone's selling something over there. So just a little update. We've been here in Da Nang for about close to a week. Five, six days. We leave tomorrow and we've had a good rest here. And uh, Da Nang, Da Nang has been an interesting place. In fact, we feel that Da Nang has probably been the biggest disappointment since coming to Vietnam. Because, I mean, that's partially our fault because we read up a lot in Da Nang and we heard a lot of really, really positive things about it. And it is a nice city. It is a pretty nice place to be. There's an amazing beach here. There's a, a nice river area. And if you're somebody that's really into just things and stuff and food and the beach, then you probably won't feel at all out of place here and really like it, really enjoy it. But um, we are feel people and we really go on how a place feels. And Da Nang for us just hasn't had that uh, really warm, welcoming sort of feel. It's, it's really hard to put into words, but um, if you get the opportunity to come here, still come, still come, and you know I'd be really interested to know how you feel. Our balcony looks out in two directions. There's a petrol station over there. You can just about see the mountains in the distance over there, and then over in this direction we've got a nice view on the road. So you know even just being here. Seeing everything go past, watching the world go by. You can learn a lot about this this town and how Vietnamese life is in general just from this balcony. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. You see these signs here. You see this um, big red sign across over the road here. This means, we just Google translated it earlier, it just means all people unite together to make civilized city or something to that effect and um, you see this sort of um, communist type signage around and yeah I don't really know what the people really think of it and whether it's still relevant today or whether it's a sign from another time and they don't really look at this sort of stuff anymore um, Sarah and I, we, we really should sit down and make a video about our thoughts and feelings on Vietnam in general so far. It's been such an amazing learning curve and uh, we've learned so much and you know when you're in a place and it's got a history, you start looking into that history way more than you would have done you know when you were just back in your own in your own country. So we'll make that video at some stage.